Hey everyone, it's Mr. Rosen here again. Uh, this video is going to be demonstrating how to do what's called a linear regression on Google Sheets. And a linear regression, basically what that is, is when you get a line of best fit using technology. Um, so this quick example here, what I did was I made a spreadsheet and it's called ice cream sales versus temperature. And I put in some different temperatures here, so 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 in Celsius. And then this is the number of ice creams that were recorded being sold that day. So let me graph this and I'll show you how to get the line of best fit, which is known as a linear regression. <clears throat> okay, so you're going to highlight everything, insert, chart, and by default it gave me a scatter plot, which is exactly what I wanted. If you don't uh, see that, like if it went with bars or something, <clears throat> make sure you change it to scatter chart like this one. And you can see it pretty much looks like a line. There's a little bit of variation here, like it, this point's a little bit higher, uh, but it's pretty much a line. So uh, let's go ahead and figure out the line that best fit on this thing here. So the way we do that is we go to customize and it's under series. And if you go under series, look for something that says trend line. If we click that, that gives us our line of best fit. And you can see that it is pretty much a line. Uh, this point's a little bit too high. This point's a little bit too low, but it's, it's pretty close to a line. It's not perfect. And there's a few more things that I want to add in below the trend line here. I want to click this button that says show the R squared. And what the R squared basically does is it tells you roughly how accurate your line or curve of best fit is. In this case, it's a line. It might be a curve though, depending on the situation you're using. Um, but in this case, basically it's 0.99, which means it's almost 100% accurate. That's the way you interpret that number. And for where it says label, okay, what I'm going to do is change instead of custom, I'm going to put use equation. And the reason I'm going to do that is because then I can actually see what the equation is. So I'll show you how you interpret this. So I'm just going to slide this over a bit here. Oops. If I'm looking at this data here, I can see that my R squared uh, is going to equal to 0 0.993. Now you might have to figure out what the R is. And the R basically is just the square root of that number. Okay, so it's the square root of that one. So I'm just going to do it with uh, the spreadsheet user formula square root. Square root this cell here. And we get the R being 0.996. The R is your, uh, it's, the, it's the correlation coefficient. I was trying to think of the word. Correlation coefficient. That is basically how linear it is. So it's 99.6% linear essentially is what this one tells me. So the R squared basically tells me how accurate it is, and the R tells me how linear it is. And the way you get the R is just square root the R squared. Uh, now that works for linear ones. <clears throat> now the equation is, is written right here, but I'm just going to write it out in a way that uh, you can actually understand here. You have to interpret this. So you have to throw Y equals in front of that. So you're going to write Y equals 2.48X minus 4.2. That is the equation right there. That's the way you would interpret this thing. So it's, it's basically written in a y equals mx plus b format. Your m, which is your slope, is 2.48, and your b is negative 4.2. So that, in a nutshell, is how you would do a, like I said, a linear regression, which gives you the line of best fit, and uh, your equation in Google Sheets. So hopefully you learned something, and uh, hopefully this helps you out in the future.